So as you can probably tell from that, that intro, I've had a lot of time to reflect and uh, let's see where I want to be. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, options coming up. Do I join the police? I've got the opportunity to do that. Um, I've been invited for an interview, so I think I'm going to pick up on that lead no matter what. Um, and I've also been offered a, a job potentially in Dubai. I find out Sunday where we're going to be moving to Dubai. So um, I really don't know where things are going to take me. Um, if I'm going, to, if I'm moving to Dubai, uh, I'm most definitely going to vlog every minute of it and take you guys along with me. Um, if I go in the police, I'm not too sure how it stands with YouTube and stuff. So um, wait out to see what happens. But uh, yeah, so let's get on with the video. What is going on, boys and girls? Um, it's your boy Zero Fox Shop back. Um, we need a catch up and uh, the, the subject of this video today is going to be actually my time in the army. So a couple of things I want to say before this video gets on is actually I've got no internet at the moment, no Wi-Fi whatsoever. Uh, we're currently getting fire optic installed so we've got nothing for the week until hopefully Friday afternoon and then I'll be uploading at regular again. So I've actually had to go to, by the time you're watching this, I've got to go and sit in Costa for a couple of hours and the shit internet there and upload from there. So. I'm sorry, but it's just the situation I'm in. Actually, we're going to change the subject of this video. We're going to change it to five reasons why you should join the army. So the number one reason is that you actually get uh, free healthcare within the army. So uh, every year you have an annual uh, health checkup in terms of dental. So to be able to, to deploy uh, overseas or anywhere at all, you need to be dentally fit. And so each year you will get your, your mouth checked out for any horrible things that could be going on in your mouth and they want to make sure that your, your teeth are all correct and that also covers things like your gums and so on. So each year you get your, your medical check in terms of your teeth and that includes any work that needs to be done. So if you need a uh, fill in or, or whatever else, that's all paid for by the army. So um, that includes prescriptions. Prescriptions are all free. So if you have to go to the doctors because you've got a rash on your balls, it's all free um that's an excellent thing to have you know the people are paying like a 10 pound prescription or something now reason number two free gym membership that goes without saying in the army you've got to be fit you've got to have uh, a certain level of fitness to be able to deploy safely and to the best of your ability and to perform so whatever unit you go to or whatever regiment you serve with you'll get a free gym membership how good does that sound number three you'll be able to do uh, a, like AT, adventurous training all around the world. For me personally, I went mountain biking in Canada, around the Rocky Mountains, that was free. Uh, I went skiing in Austria, that cost me £50, but for the time I was there, I got my £50 back in terms of over, overseas allowance. So because I went away with the army for, what, I think it was a week or 10 days that we went, I ended, I ended up getting like £400 back, so I was 350 quid up from paying £50 to go skiing and I got a free jacket and stuff out of it. That also included all my food, my accommodation, everything, 50 quid, 10 days skiing in a, in a fancy lodge. Number four is you get shit loads of qualifications for no reason. They'll put you on courses to do this, put you on courses to do that, fucking, I went and did my uh, radioactive supervisors course. In Civilian Street that costs like 10 grand and all it is is for me to be able to say, that's safe, that's not. You get paid so much money, like a job on TV Street doing that on, on the civilian market, you get paid like 50 grand a year to just walk around and make sure things are in check. And you have a list, you follow a piece of paper that you have to print off from the database and you're good to go. And number five, the, the, the one absolute reason I would say join the army. You'll meet people from all different walks of life, you'll meet people that are black, gay, Asian, straight, Gurkha, Raf Reg, whoever it may be, you're always, you're always going to know their name because their name is always mate. Once you've shaken hands, you said hello to each other, that's it, you're friends. And some of the best time of my army career have actually been with the people that I've met through the army outside of the military environment. Like I've had, I've got stories I can tell from Canada, I've got stories I can tell from Germany, I've got stories I can tell from all over the world that, um, that really like stick in my, in my mind and are gonna stay with me for the rest of my life. And you know, some of my best friends in military um, and yeah, you're gonna meet a lot of dickheads and a lot of people that you really can give a fuck about because they're so self-centered and uh, like self-empowered. But that's only because of the uh, mentality of a lot of the higher and older aged um, military community. So when you when you first join the army, you're a nobody, and once you start to to get to know people and they go from mate to to friend and you knowing the names and being part of the clique and the community, you know you you're never ever. Um, 
they never leave it. Once I joined the army, I didn't really want to know my my civilian friends because they were just so far behind in the social sort of construct and stuff like that. And it's just, you know, it's another level and they, they really mean it's like friends for life. And the people that, there's, there's different people, there's people that know you and want to be your friend because you're you're part of the group and you're part of the, part of the community. But once you leave, uh, the people that do stay in touch are the friends that you will hold dearly for the rest of your life. And there's a few guys that I really, um, I really appreciate their, their time and their effort and everything they do whenever I speak to them. So that's it guys, five reasons why you should join the army. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you put in the secret word here, then I know you've been watching and you get a shout out in my next video. I've got a couple of videos lined up. I've got the Raf Reg video part two. I know that's going to go down well. Uh, I've got the RMP video, uh, five reasons why you shouldn't join the army, and the airsoft videos are coming up soon. So make sure you stay subscribed, and I'll see you on the next one. Fuck you, I hate all you. Bet you didn't see that one coming, huh?